Hello fellow weirdos, uh, welcome back to Lost Alpha and <clears throat> here's something I need to do before free play uh, as I was poking around the internet for reasons also found out that, uh, oh wait, uh, these uh, emitters or projectors totally should be destroyed after all. I just wasn't uh, applying the right amount of force. So let's let us do that. scheme it doesn't really matter because uh, as we are as we are blowing the whole shit up anyway who cares <laughs> Also, I don't feel like chasing that last pyro so let us deactivate this shit I'm not gonna record the uh, ending again and the rest of the stuff, so I'll see you in Cordon. Just like at the, the beginning. All right, let's eat some. So this is fucking cool. We don't need as many things on. points. Alright, so since the relevant shit is maxed out, let's max out shooter as well. And what's left of it? I am. Still need a uh, night vision. Yo, dead dude, where are you? Also, let's let's do a little mark stash marking. I could put something back. Maybe not. 
have to put these elsewhere. Is that the blood sucker? I should. I need to find three digits and uh, to be honest I have actually done it already uh, once but the recording didn't stick so that's why I have already checked out all the places so first place is of course Sid's Bunker Locker near the Traders Go Ooh. Gotcha. So the second was place where they once caught a fox. And that is the Sin House. During my uh, first first run of doing this I ran into a peculiar problem, namely in my head I had already started mixing up the Lost Alpha map and the uh, and the vanilla Shadow of Chernobyl maps. So for a second there I wasn't sure what uh, what is what and what is where. But then I realized that the Sin House is pretty much at the same place where in, in Vanilla you have the house where you meet Fox. So that was indeed the place. Go away, piggy. Okay, since we are now buddies, let's let's chat. Yo! Hello. Okay, never mind. Okay, so second digit acquired and the third one rules maker then is in this area. At first I thought that uh, they meant uh, the uh, factory because that's where Wolf is now. However, that was not correct and I already know that third digit will kick in in uh, Ricky Village again. But let's swing by the factory anyway, because there have been some subtle personal changes there as well. Well then. 
What? 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 Where? Whoa! 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 Okay, there's there's another bandit. Okay. Urod. <laughs> Grab everything, spare nothing. I totally forgot that there there used to be that there is an anomaly there. Yo. Uh, okay, I can't sell these, but I can sell these. Can I sell this? Yes, I can. I'm too lazy to get the bullets out right now. You can just have it. Anywho, the interesting tidbit here was that uh, Proverb has now taken the trader place here. Hello. All right. And since this is not where where wolves nest or whatever the quest description was, let's get back to Virgil Age. Решили как-то ученые провести полевые испытания нового лекарства. Ну и наняли под это дело группу сталкеров. Проходит несколько дней, один сталкер приходит к профессору и говорит, «Слышите, а вы мне что, колеса заменили, да?» Тот очочки поправил, и ему так осторожно, а «Почему вы вдруг решили, что препарат был заменен?» А сталкер, «Так это, я когда раньше таблетки в лужу выкидывал, они тонули, а сейчас вдруг плавать начали». Ну ты выдал. как собак нерезанных. И все они лучше стариков знают. А то взять и послать эту зону к такой-то матери. Загнешься тут не за комариный чил. И вот такое знает кто? Не скажет. Группа сталкеров потеряла на болоте 15 литров спирта. Две недели люди существовали на еде и воде. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave them behind while I still can. And now let's go acquire that third digit. I'm gonna keep the night vision on because. Uh, I'm playing in uh, broad daylight, so I, I can't really see when very well. Okay. Beep boop. Отлично, ты нашел третью подсказку, цифра один. Gotcha. And 
now real soldier marches the border that uh, if it wasn't obvious already is the cord and check with whoa I think we're we're gonna get a blowout soon like now but I'm gonna I'm gonna run to the checkpoint maybe I can wait it out there. When I did it the first time, then there were some dead stalkers who had run into the checkpoint, but uh, I don't know how about now. Okay, I guess that can't be avoided. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately the other stalkers do not enjoy the player privileges. But where the bodies fall, there shall I loot. Also, I uh, gotta watch out for landmines. Oh, that silencer tells me we have done business. Oh, I'm gonna keep this and this. Looks like these are fresh spawns. But you, I'm gonna sell you back the shit that you made. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, yeah, maybe let's let's trade with stalkers instead. Oh, more dead bodies. Oh, I think one of these guys made it out alive the last time I tried. But such is life in the zone. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Come at me, mutants. Just empty your safe here. What was it? Seven? Four? No, wait. Uh, I think it was four, seven. One, yeah, okay. First number is four. <laughs> Yoink. That was some five fifty thousand, I think. Oh, oh, oh! Well then, we can we can actually see what blowout is like in uh, in the military base, or well, outpost anyway.
looking. It is all so disciplined. guy has seen some shit, doesn't even care. <laughs> it's like, just let me fucking sleep. guys have been here for a while it seems they're already, already used to the shit blowout uh, run its course uh, and since this has been my first free play task completed I think I'm gonna stop recording here thank you very much for watching we might meet again sometime in free play bye